Here's a quick tutorial on how to uh, post your the draft of your personal discourse communities. So here I am in PowerPoint, and in PowerPoint I made the um, I made my uh, my personal discourse community thing, uh, and then I'm going to go into File, and I want to uh, save this guy. And I want to save it under my last name, Benander Personal Discourse Community Map. And this way I'll be able to remember what it is. And because I'm going to post this, I want to save it. Well, first I'm going to save it as a PowerPoint presentation. Yes, so that I can go in and I can edit this if I need to. However, I also want then want to go into Save As and I want to save this as a PDF because that'll be easier for people to open on the computer. So now I've saved it two ways. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to go into my website. So here's my um, WordPress site and I'm going to go up here to my dashboard. And I wait for my dashboard to load and in my dashboard I'm going to go down to pages and I want to add a new page add new. So here I am and my new page, I have to give it a title, and this will be personal discourse community map. Whoops, map. Hello. Now here's my paragraph place and here um, here I want to put my reflection on what I learned as I was creating this uh, discourse community map and so I would want to say here in creating my discourse community map, I learned that, um, let's see, what did I learn? I learned that the majority of the writing I do is formal writing for work. In my um, other communities, like at the dojo and when when I'm traveling, I don't do much writing. Therefore, um, I find most of my writing is very formal, as is expected in the academic community. And then I would continue to talk about um, how uh, the other communities look at writing and, and how I, I write there. And I would want to want to um, end by coming with a, a personal insight that I have about my use of language in these different communities. Now, I want to add my PDF here. So I'm going to click up here on Add Media. And what I have to do is upload this file. So I want to select the, the PDF that I made. and Oh, I wonder where I... I'm pretty sure I put it on my Lexar, Lexar thing. And I called it Benander PD, PDC Map. I'm going to click on that PDF and I'm going to open it. And it's loading, loading, loading. There it is! And now I want to insert my, P, my picture onto my page. So you'll see down here where it says Insert into Page. I click on Insert into Page. And so I would continue my reflection. My reflection will be longer. And I would say here, click here to see the picture of my discourse communities, communities. And then here's my, here's my thing. Now I'm going to click on publish my file. I'm going to click on publish and I'm going to la 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 and I have my little meditation practice. And so now it's published. I'm going to come back up here to the name of my site so I can see the site, Learning to Teach. And here's my personal discourse community. It, it appeared in my top menu. And when I click on that, I get my reflective paragraph. And then I can click on my map. And it should open in a new window as my uh, discourse community map so that people can take a look at that. And if I go backwards, I'm back here again. So that's how you uh, save your discourse community map after you've revised it. You put it into your website with a uh, reflection before it that explains your insights, and then you attach the file. 
So, if you have any trouble, remember, don't fight more than 10 minutes with the, with the um, software, and then send me an email. I'll be on my email all weekend, and I'll be able to help you out.